Tonight, WNBA star Brittany Griner is back in the U.S. after her release in a prisoner swap with Russia and reunited with her wife, Sherelle. Griner's plane touching down in San Antonio, Texas, around 4.30 this morning, the moment she stepped off that plane and back on U.S. soil. What authorities are now saying about her condition tonight and what they're now saying about American Paul Whelan, the former Marine, still in a Russian prison. Here's our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, tonight. Tonight, Brittany Griner is back on U.S. soil, back in the arms of her wife, Sherelle, a private but no doubt powerful reunion at Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio. Officials say Griner is in good spirits and appears to be in good health, now receiving medical care. The process called reintegration to help Americans detained overseas transition back home and decompress. Griner given physical checkups and access to psychologists after her 10 months as a Russian prisoner. Are you ready for a flight? Uh, yes. yes. Griner seen smiling in this video released by Russian state media on her flight leaving the country. Her signature long braids noticeably missing. One of her Russian lawyers saying the 32-year-old recently cut her hair due to the harsh and frigid conditions she faced in the penal colony, where she was serving her nine-year sentence. More images from Russian state TV provide a glimpse of her life inside the prison, working, standing next to a small bed, too small for her six-foot, nine-inch frame, in the cafeteria, sharing a meal with a fellow prisoner. She was detained in Moscow in February, just days before the Russian invasion of Ukraine, traveling with hashish oil in a vape pen, a banned substance in Russia. I made an honest mistake, and I hope that in your ruling that it doesn't end my life here. President Biden announcing Griner's freedom after a prisoner exchange with convicted arms dealer Victor Boot, dubbed the merchant of death for the countless weapons he supplied to terrorists. The smiling man seen here passing Griner on the tarmac on his way to Moscow. But former Marine Paul Whelan, imprisoned for four years on espionage charges that the U.S. said are a sham, was not part of the exchange, telling CNN... I was arrested for a crime that never occurred. The White House saying they will continue to fight for Whelan's freedom, but say it was not possible this time. I think President Putin stepped in and he said uh, one for one and that's it. I don't think President Putin wanted to give President Biden a victory. Former U.N. Ambassador Bill Richardson played a key role in securing Griner's release. Well, almost for sure, it's going to be another prisoner, a Russian prisoner in an American jail. Uh, the Russians don't do, do these for free, and they're tough negotiators. Reports suggest Russia was interested in freeing a Russian assassin in exchange for Whelan. Vadim Krasikov was not the U.S.'s to trade. He's serving a life sentence in Germany. The country refused to release him. Obviously, more questions as we move forward about Paul Whelan. In the meantime, Martha, what are we learning tonight about Brittany Griner when she might be released from that Army Medical Center? David, she can leave whenever she wants. Typically, people stay several weeks, if not longer. But in this case, it's entirely up to her. She will also be asked to do a briefing with intelligence officers to find out what they can about her detention. David? Americans glad she's home and hoping Paul Whelan will be next. Martha Raddatz tonight. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.